Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today it's December 5th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop, and you can clearly see our Panda Express, our atmospheric river, moving into the Pacific Northwest. We've still got a ways to go here with some of this rainfall. A lot of heavy rain falling over the area last night, and some of the rivers and streams are up above what they were forecast to be, and some of the latest precipitation trends actually trended upwards right towards the end there as well. So we're continuing this precipitation on here, and this going to be sagging south across southwest Washington on into Oregon, the Oregon coast, another big round incoming likely for much of the area. And then we'll take a brief look at the extended forecast as well. I'm going to go out and live stream today also. So I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter than normal here so I can get out there and you guys can ride along with me. Taking a look here at the uh, atmospheric characteristics here, and you can see we've brought the tropics to the Pacific Northwest. You can see this tropical air just brought up out in front of this big trough out over the Gulf of Alaska here. Nice visual representation of this atmospheric river with its deep tropical connection all the way back across the Pacific Ocean. And watch out today, you're going to run into this especially off in the backcountry and across some of the more rural areas, water over roadway. Be very careful if you need to cross that waterway. Highly recommended that you do not. Six inches of fast moving water can knock over and carry away an adult. And of course, you don't know what's going on underneath there. I've seen some pretty interesting road washouts here when it looks quite benign. Now, taking a look at some of the precipitation totals, look at this uh, across some of the foothills here up, you know, in Snohomish County and Whatcom and Skagit County. Some big rainfall has occurred, big rainfall across some of the Puget Sound. I mean, 1.3 inches of rain in the last 24 hours is a big deal. And you can see the Olympic Mountains just got totally plastered there as well. If we look a bit further south, this is still ongoing, of course, and these big precipitation amounts are going to be increasing here across a lot of the Cascades and sagging across Oregon as we go through the day today. Here's the day one excessive rainfall outlook, and it kind of shows that we're continuing here with some flash flooding potential, even slight risk there. And this continues on all the way in through tomorrow morning. Now, if you need to know your exact river locations, I'll show you a couple tools here, but the National Weather Service Seattle, these flood advisories here are actually where flooding is starting to on go here. So you can kind of see that out there and you can see the additional rainfall expected today. And you can go to uh, the rivers here on the NOAA site and you can actually click on these individual rivers. And when you see these purples, that's when you're supposed to get into flood stage here. Look at that Skagit River near concrete here. And some of these are not going to crest until tomorrow. Look at the Skagit. That's probably cresting sometime tomorrow, right around the noon hour or so. You're going to have problems. Snoqualmie River near Carnation. The uptrend of that just a little bit there as well. Not looking at record level flooding, but major flooding is a big deal out there near Carnation. And you can see Snoqualmie near Snoqualmie, moderate flood stage there also. And you can see a lot of other rivers are quite swollen. We're dealing with uh, at the avalanche conditions here across some of the higher terrain as well. If you click on that, you can kind of look at the forecast here. Nice stuff from uh, the Avalanche Center, Northwest Avalanche Center. And yeah, uh, avalanche uh, conditions are expected to continue here. So heads up if you're off in the backcountry, check out that website and check out some of these warm temperatures. Look at Portland. 65 degrees. You probably could feel it last night. It was very warm out there. This juicy atmospheric river bringing much warmer air than we have been having the last few weeks here across the area. And yes, yeah, some records out there with that very warm air out in front. The good news is though, we're going to start to bring these freezing levels down as we go through the afternoon and tonight and finally bring them back down and maybe some snow here for a little bit at, towards the end of the week. But we've got another weather, weather system coming out towards next weekend as well. We'll take a brief look at that through the video here today. Here's Whistler dropping back down as well, kind of showing you the freezing levels are going to start reversing and coming back down. Now, this is the HER, the High Resolution Rapid Refresh. Let's actually back this up to the 12Z that goes out 48 hours. And I'm just going to go ahead and play this out. And you can see this atmospheric river is going to be bouncing around western Washington for a while. And you can see it sagging across some of the Oregon coastline here. This goes out 18 hours. It's actually back up to the 12Z. Looks like I misclicked there or something happened where it updated. But as we go off into the future, you can see this atmospheric river finally start to end as we get through the day Wednesday for Western Washington, moving across the Cascades by Wednesday afternoon, then another system kind of swinging through there as well, and then probably another one on the heels of that. Now, looking at the integrated vapor transport, so these are six-hour clicks we're going to go through, and you can kind of see that finally end up tomorrow, wrapping up, and then we bring that next week system through here, and then as we go towards the weekend, you'll see this is Friday night, 
Saturday morning, Saturday, maybe another good shot of precipitation for some of the Oregon coast. But the good news is that is not nearly as sinister as this last atmospheric river. But, you know, things are going to be quite swollen here. It might cause some additional flooding problems there. Now, take a look at Gold Beach Municipal Airport on the Oregon coast. See another round of precipitation incoming here. You see these 24 hours ending tomorrow afternoon, pretty good, up over three inches. Seattle, Tacoma, this uh, uptrended here over the last few runs as well. Like it had 2.5 as of last uh, yesterday yesterday afternoon for Seattle Tacoma as we get towards uh, t this afternoon today and you can see the European it had been showing right around 1.92 or so and the last couple model runs there showed 2.7 so yeah pretty interesting stuff here's Tillamook big round incoming ongoing right now as we speak watch out for those small streams and some of that urban uh, flooding it could be con continuing out there for some areas. Swift Creek, this little bit further up north uh, across western Washington, and you can see this is kind of uptrended here a little bit. You know, some areas getting up over six inches in a 24-hour period. Here's Paradise. This is still ongoing as we speak, of course, and this should be almost all rain here for Paradise, Mount Rainier, maybe just snow on the highest elevations of Mount Rainier. Uh, this is looking at the National Blend of Models. Again, the composite reflectivity, just kind of playing this through. Let's see how much it agrees with that high-resolution model. So you can see that very heavy rainfall as we go through tonight for some of oh, Western Oregon and the coastal range here, and then finally sliding through as we go through the late morning hours tomorrow, and then maybe another system after that. But we should be wrapping up this atmospheric river as we go through tomorrow morning. Day two, they're still hanging down across Oregon. They still have the marginal risk for excessive rainfall, and they do have some of the portions of Idaho Panhandle and some of Northeast Washington. That will include British Columbia as well. Now, looking at what's coming in the future a little bit here, this is last night's European. You can see the atmospheric river over Washington here to the right. Here's Alaska. Gulf of Alaska is here. Put this into motion, and you can see that atmospheric river finally get out of our hair here as we go on in through Wednesday night on into Thursday, but that next system rides up with it. And then we bring that next system here as we go on into the weekend. So we'll watch that one closely as well. Things could still change with that. That could bring a few flooding concerns with it. This is looking at the extended range here. So this European ensemble mean you can see this Gulf of Alaska low powering this atmospheric river in here. And if you didn't know any better, you'd be like, hey, we got ridging over us. We're going to be doing fine. But this is basically what's been going on here with this heavy rain. You can see this doesn't just preclude us from having some active weather. Atmospheric river has been battering us. So finally, the trough swings through. We drop the snow levels here. And then this next system swings through this weekend. There it would be here impacting the Pacific Northwest, but probably not that tropical tap and not as long last atmospheric river with that round. Now you can see the ridging build over us a bit here, but the Gulf of Alaska troughing remains active here. And so it's going to be swinging systems at times back into the Pacific Northwest. So uh, we're not going to go into any hibernation mode or anything like that. We're probably going to stay somewhat active as we go through the mid portion of December, but we have plenty of time to watch that. We'll continue to visit that as we go through the daily forecast. Here's the GFS. Let's take a look at what it says briefly. You can see the atmospheric river rolling through finally on the day Wednesday, but you can see it takes much longer across Western Oregon here with that next System. The rain continues on in towards what is this about Friday morning and it wraps up. And then the next system hot on its heels there as we go through Saturday morning on in through the weekend. So that's what we'll be watching here coming up. And if we scroll off into the extended on the GFS last night, you can see additional systems potentially coming as we go later in the period as well. So we'll watch those daily. And you can see some of these rivers, like, uh, for example, Gray's River uh, near Roseburg has been overshooting its forecast, and it went into major flood stage here. So watch out. Some of these uh, did not pick up the extent of the flooding there. So don't get caught off guard if you live near any small streams also out there. Heads up. Some of this is running a bit higher than what was forecast. But anyway, I'm going to go out and live stream today. Hopefully, you guys can ride along with me. I'll try to go get some good footage out there and uh, keep everybody, you know, at least I'll, I'll show some of what's going on out there, if nothing else. And I'll try to maybe go out towards Snoqualmie eventually today, maybe out towards Snohomish County, and maybe I'll drop back down a little bit later on this afternoon. But anyway, I hope you guys can ride along. And we'll continue to do this uh, with my daily forecast again tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can join me for that as well. Otherwise, yeah, I will see you guys out in the live stream later on today, and I'll talk to you later.